we are going to discuss color basic literals so there are different types of literals are possible so let me discuss one by one the rules of scala uses for literals are simple and intuitive the section explains all basic scala literals so at first we are going to discuss integral literals so integral literals are usually of the type int or of type long when followed by a capital L or small l suffix. So, here are some integer uh, literals are there. So, here you see they are not followed by capital L or small l. So, that is why they are the integer type and here this literal has been expressed in the form of our hexadecimal. So, that is why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 hexadecimal digits means 32 bits. So, which is of the type integer. So, now here we are having this, uh, it is being followed by capital L also I can write here small n. So, this particular, this particular literal is of the type our long and this is the example, these are the examples of integral literals. So, now let me go for the next literal type that is a floating point literals. So, floating point literals are of the type float and when followed by a floating point a type suffix that is a capital F or small f and R of the type double otherwise. So, if we mention capital F or small f, then it will be of the type float, otherwise it will be of the type double. We know that this particular floating point can be expressed in two different formats. One is a single precision, another one is a double precision. So, single precision floating point numbers will be expressed followed by this small f or capital F, otherwise it will be treated as a double precision. So, 0, 0.0, so it is a double because I did not mention anything any small f or capital F, there is a float type, float type, there is another form, there is a double one and there is our double. So, this boolean literals, the boolean literals are true and false are the members of type boolean. So, this is the boolean literals and they can have only two values. So, that is a true and false. Remember, true and false are to be written, true and false are to be written in lowercase letters only. Now, we are going for our fourth uh, literal type that is a symbol literal. A symbol literal x is a, a shorthand for the expression that is our scala dot symbol within bracket will be writing this x within double quotes. So, symbol is a case class which is defined as follows. So, in this way we are going to define this, uh, this symbol literal. We are having this character literals. So, a character literal is a single character enclosed in quotes and the character is either a printable unicode character or is described by an escape sequence and here are the some character literals examples. So, here they have been enclosed within quotes, which quote that is a small, that is a single quote, there is a single quote we are having. So, single quote is enclosing A, the single quote is enclosing this respective quote, there is a single quote is enclosing one escape character, what is the escape character? escape character is that character which is not getting printed but its effect is going to get printed when it will be uh, printing some string. So, that is why this is my escape character and this is another escape character for, for tab, this is for new line. So, these are the character literals in our Scala. Now, we are having this string literals. A string literal is a sequence of characters in double quotes. So, here this string must be enclosed within double quotes. And the characters are either printable unicode character or are described by escape sequences. So, here is a, some examples of this string literals. So, hello slash n world. So, what is slash n? That is the escape character. And now you see the full string has been enclosed within double quotes and that is another example of our uh, string literals. So, these are the string literals and what are the rules to write, write one string literal, we have explained that one in this particular text. We are having this multi line string, a multi line string literal is a sequence of characters enclosed in triple quotes, here you see we are having this triple double quote. So, enclosing it here we will be writing the multi line string, the sequence of characters is arbitrarily except that it may contain three or more consecutive quotes, characters only at the very end. So, characters must not necessarily be printable, new lines or other control characters are also permitted. 
So here is a multi-line string literal as an example. You see the, the present string spans three lines. The, the full string has got enclosed within triple double quotes. So that's why it is called multi-line string. So last one is about null values. The null value is type scala.null. So n is thus compatible with every reference type and it denotes the reference value which refers to a special null object. So we have explained this one in our data types also. We know that this is a null value is the type scala.null and is thus compatible with every reference type and it denotes a reference value which refers to a special null object which is being derived from this respective null class. So the class is there the scala.null. So from this object this null object will be obtained. So this is my null values. So here we have def defined what are the different basic literals are there which you can apply in our scala code. Thanks for watching this video.